Hey, my lovely Willow Vibes tribe members. I am Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes, and I am here to do a collective message. Please like, 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 comment, share, and subscribe. Stick around. I hope you do stay. I would love it if you would. And I do want to say thank you to everyone who sent me those beautiful messages and words of encouragement. It really means the world to me, and I really needed it. Because <laughs> um, in that moment, I needed to talk to somebody, and I there was only one person and it was someone that I never would have expected that actually answered the phone and you know it was a good conversation good friend so um all everything all the love and support was much needed and appreciated <laughs> but anyways I heard before I hit record I'm, I'm just getting things in order like I'm trying to get things in order figure something out line things up and then third eye uh, popped out there's definitely telepathic communication in here between you and someone but between you and a lot of people I know that that's a message for me too like some of you do that as well and that's why it comes up in public readings if it's anything that I say oh me too you know because I mean that it's been happening all day like actually it was yesterday I was on my way back from dropping my daughter off at work and I started getting irritated in the car I'm almost home and I'm just like why am I angry right now um it was her boyfriend because he was here with the twins and one of them wouldn't stop crying and he left him in his seat and walked away did the right thing but he was getting frustrated because he couldn't calm him down I was only gone for 10 minutes but anyways um I was feeling it before I even got to the house and today we got stuck in traffic when I was trying to drop her off at work and um, she was really irritated and in my <laughs> in my head I heard will you just fucking go already like just go and I'm like that must be her and no sooner did I think that must be her she said it she said exactly what was what she was thinking like I'm thinking this and now I'm gonna say it she was angry because she was late to work but it all is well but anyway, something like that is going on. Um, most of you know this by now, but usually when I explain things that happen to me, it's to help you have a better understanding of your own gifts and spirituality because it was very difficult for me to process through um, the energies and feelings and everything that, um, that I was getting a while ago. And it was very overwhelming and like, what the, you know, and I've said that a million times. So the reason why I explain it to help you guys is so that none of you have to go through that. And if you have, you're probably out there helping, you know, other people as well who deal with this because it's not an easy process. It's not an easy process even when you do have guidance and help. Um, but it makes it a little bit smoother, you know. So that's why I want, I want to explain little things like that. Um, and, you know, I'm not sure, but... Maybe at some point, I don't know if I'll do this on Patreon because I'm trying to keep up with everything. Uh, maybe I'll do something where I kind of go through an experience and how, you know, what happened and how I handled it and how to handle it. You know, pros and cons of, of different gifts and different situations. Um, if any of you are interested in something like that, let me know. Because, um, I mean, if nobody wants me to do something like that, I'm not going to. So anyways, let me know about that. And this, it wouldn't be, you know, I wouldn't charge a fee or anything. I don't know if it would even be on Patreon. It might be over here. I don't know where I'd put it, but if it was a fee, it'd be whatever you pay to get over to Patreon. But I don't know. I don't know why I'm going off on this. But anyways, <laughs> moving on. Some of you have been getting weird sensations. And that is your third eye opening up. Um, it's not just like, you know, getting the head crawls and stuff. Like when I say weird sensations, most people know like sometimes sinus pressure and stuff like that. Or like a tingling. It almost feels like spider webs crawling up your forehead. Like, oh, you just walk through webs. Um, or like the head crawls. That's all activation is what I heard. But that's basically activation <laughs> spiritual activation but someone's third eye is activating and they could be a little uncomfortable they might think that they have allergies or that they're sick or that they I don't know because um, this person might be experiencing headaches 
sinus pressure, weird, weird pains, but it feels like it would be in your head area. That's your third eye opening up. I just heard something about connecting. Um, that's you connecting. Okay, so that's how you'll know that you're truly connecting to whoever you want to connect to. If they're on the other side or if it's another person, if we're talking telepathic communication, you'll know because you'll start feeling those sensations like, oh, like it hurts on the bridge of my nose, under my eyes, I'm feeling some pressure or right here, like I said, the tingles or it could be a pressure um, or like, oh, I got a headache from hell. You, you know what I mean? And it could just be in one spot and it just comes in out of nowhere and then goes. That's you connecting to another person or them trying to connect to you. So if you're open, like wide open to information, like any reader, any legitimate reader or spiritualist who is doing work for the public, especially like right now I'm wide open because I'm working with multiple energies. Um, if it, if I'm more zoned in for like a personal reading or just everyday life or whatever, it, I'm not as open. So whoever I'm connecting to or is trying to connect to me, they can only connect to me if I allow it basically. And same goes for you. You have that control. There we go. Someone might be concerned about that. Like, Oh, if I open up, you know, am I open to everything and everyone, or am I just open to you or to this or to whatever? Um, cause I don't know, there could be someone in this energy who wants to work on their spirituality or their gifts. Like, I wonder if I have this gift. I would love to try, but if I try, am I going to be bombarded? <laughs> like a spirit just going to be like, Hey, 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 or is what happened to you going to happen to me? Maybe somebody's asking that. Like, cause I was just explaining how the energies were like, Woo! um, someone might be concerned about that. No, that will not happen because you are not open to it. Is what I just heard, which is true. It's the truth. I was open to it because I was trying to get messages for the public during that time. And I, I mean, my readings were right on the money and I never had any complaints, but the extra energy that was added in as my gifts enhanced, that's when it got like a little too intense and I didn't fully understand. So, you know, I didn't just dip my toes in. I dove in head first and went, whoa, um, I think I'm in over my head, but I'm still swimming. So we're good. Just keep swimming. Just keep going. Just keep going through whatever this process is. But don't be concerned that if you're trying to connect to someone you care about, if you're trying to connect to a loved one on the other side or a living person, um, that's your intention and your spirit team. We all have a spirit team, our guides, angels, ancestors. They know, they know what we can handle and they know what we can't. And if you're sitting here begging for it, well, they'll give you a taste of your own medicine. You know what I'm saying? They'll give it to you and you might not like it. It just depends. I just heard we only give you as much as you can truly handle. Okay, now I have someone saying something like, well, that if that's the truth, then why do certain someones um, take their own lives? That's horrible. I just said, I don't want to say that. I just heard because they're weak. And it's not, it's weak-minded. Because sometimes spirit does push us to our breaking point, to our limit. But they do it for our own good, for our best interest. Just like uh, like a parent and a child, you know, when all the birdies leave the nest. And, you know, you got a couple stragglers or whatever. And it's like, okay, it's time to fucking learn how to fly. Mama bird pushes them out. And she's like, fly. Um, you know, the, what is it? only the strong survive basically it's natural selection and in, in, in nature but you can still use that analogy with people because if you're coddling a person if if they never ex have experiences if they never try if they never fall if they never fail they don't learn you know and spirit teaches us in a very similar way that our parents should or do teach us depending on who your parents are you know and it sometimes it can come across as tough love and your kids would be like, Oh, you hate me. And 
you don't. You're doing it because you love them and you know, you won't always be around. So sometimes we have to learn the hard way. Someone might need to hear that. Like let that little birdie fly. Let the little birdie fly. Um, so maybe that's a parent thing, but regardless, if we're talking spirit, spiritually or, you know, just someone around you, there comes a time when it's sink or swim. And if you coddle someone too much or you baby a situation, do you really think that that person or those people are, do you think they're going to fucking swim? No, they're going to sink. Because like with the spiritual aspect, like when all the energies were coming at me, it was like sink or swim. And I chose to keep my head above water. I chose to keep swimming because I wanted it so bad. You know, I was like, this is what I want. I'm capable of this and I know it. I, you know, cause I've had gifts forever. They just heightened. I'm just saying. And I, I wanted to prove myself to myself. I wanted to prove myself to my younger self, to my past self, to my weaker self. I wanted to show myself just how fucking strong I was. And I did. I mean, I still am. I'm still persevering. Trust me. There's, there's always hurdles and speed bumps in life. I'm just saying, um, you just get to take it all with a grain of salt ultimately. And you know, just whatever it is, what it is, uh, whatever is meant to be will be. And those who fall away aren't meant to stick in your life. They're not meant to be around you. And those who stick by your side, those are the troopers. Those are the soldiers that you want on your team when this shit hits the fan is the ones that don't give up on you. The ones that don't give up the weaklings. Why the fuck would you want to have a bunch of weak links in, you know, in your circle when the end times come, you know, it's like, okay, tragedy strikes End times is extreme, but tragedy strikes. Who the hell do you want around you? <laughs> you know what I mean? You want someone who's going to take initiative, who's strong, who can handle their business, handle themselves? Or do you want someone who's going to cry like a little bitch in the corner? I'm pretty sure you don't want that one. Just saying. So someone could be dealing with a little bitch. But anyways, yeah, strong intuition. Someone's definitely working on their gifts, honing their abilities. You're on the right track. Don't worry, you won't get bombarded. You can use Sage, Palo Santos, what have you, but it's intention. Just like magic, it's intention. So spirit knows your intentions. Whatever you do and however you do whatever you do spiritually, have good intentions because karma is real, good, bad, or indifferent, and it will come back and bite you in the rear end if you go all spiritually spying and, you know, doing things that you're not supposed to. Because the one, I guess... Don't be intrusive in people's lives. If they want to know something, they'll come to you. It'll come to you. Because that's what happens with me. A lot of the information that I get, I didn't want it. It just shows up. It's just like, oh, well, who's that for? Or I'll feel it directly about a specific person and I'll go, okay, well, Spirit obviously wants me to know that. Or they do. Or their higher self, whatever. Because I don't go hmm, what's going on with blah, blah, blah today? Like with this specific person, I need to know every detail of their life. No, I don't ever do that. And you shouldn't because that's an invasion of privacy, big time. But spirit only tells us what we need to know, not always what we want to know. And the way that I approach it, because anyone who starts out reading tarot or trying to hone their abilities, especially telepathic communication. If you're trying to tap in, you're doing it for a reason because there's unanswered questions with that person. And if that person is not willing to answer those questions to your face or just answer them for you, then it's not important for you to know anyways, because who gives a fuck? Um, I know it's easier to say that than, <laughs> than to let something like that go. Cause some people do hang on to the what ifs or whatever, but the way that I do it, like say, um, I want to know, for example, I don't know. I want to know what's going on with my mother. I won't ask that. I won't be like, I want to know what's going on with my mom. I'll say, is there anything that I need to know regarding me and my mother? Like, you know, like that I would be involved in. So therefore the information that comes to me 
pertains to either our relationship or something that I should know, can know, whatever, if it's her private life, um, I'm not going to know that because that's not between me and her. Do you know what I mean? Unless she's sending a question my way kind of thing. So I don't know. I want to point that out that that's how I roll with people. Um, cause I do know there are some people who are afraid of me <laughs> and whatever it is, what it is. What are you hiding? Are you afraid I'm going to find out? But uh, there could be, you know, some people who are a little nervous around some of you because a lot of you are very gifted who watch me. That's why I pick up on this. Um, this third eye energy a lot. I just heard we're, it's because we're all from the same place. So our tribe, especially if you feel very connected to me, we all come from the same place and it ain't here. Uh, it's not star seed. Someone must ask that. You're not a star seed. And I just heard you will find love. You're not a star seed and you will find love. Um, that's just a human label anyways, but I just heard you're in a, you're a galactic being. And no, that doesn't mean you're a gray alien or anything like that. Um, very old soul. I talk to a lot of old souls. We've been around a minute. And that's why you have this wisdom. That's why you have whatever gifts you have, whatever abilities you have. Think of spiritual gifts and abilities like superpowers. Um, what is it? With, with great power comes great responsibility or something. Um, which is the truth. So use your gifts wisely, but, um, it's almost like in Marvel or DC. I don't know. I don't know the difference between them. I don't pay attention. But uh, like say each superhero has their own specific superpowers. Do you know what I mean? So it's like one can't do the same thing as the other. Or maybe two have, the, have a similar ability. But they each have something extra or something different that's unique to them. That's how spiritual gifts work. That's how this process works. So what happens to me doesn't always happen to all of you. But maybe, say, I'm talking about five different things and you're going, ooh, yep, this one, I totally can read minds. Or um, I'm clairsentient. You know, whatever it is. You can have multiple or just one. But it, even, even if there's two people that get feelings, you're clairsentient, you get feelings, impressions, um, you could feel them differently. Like your, how you feel the energy could be completely different than how I feel it. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's your own unique superpower and you got to learn to hone it. Um, and only you can really do that for yourself. There's no book out there. There's no how to guide. That's why I really like to explain my experiences because that's the easiest way to, to help people with this. Because I can't be like, step one, step two. Because trust me, I don't know what the steps were. <laughs> it just happened. Um, someone really is looking into this. They might be doing research online or getting books or they're thinking about reading certain books. Whatever you have going on within you that's unique to you, you're not going to find in a damn book. It's in your own Akashic Records. And when the time is right, Spirit will unlock all of that for you, for yourself. Because you don't want to overload the system. Do you know what I mean? Because if you, trust me, you don't want to get overwhelmed with information because it'll be confusing and you won't know what the fuck is what. Um, baby steps. Especially if you're working on your gifts. That must be what... This reading, this energy is all about because, I don't know, owls are significant and I always look at them as being very spiritual. Um, I know some of you, an owl is very significant to you. It's like symbolic to you. So whatever that means to you, it has something to do with spirit. Um, good advice from a wise person. Oh my gosh, you know what's funny? It's really ironic that that's what this card says, just saying. Because I, um, the last time something to do with someone's eye and it's not their third eye I I just heard eye eye captain like it's time to set sail so I don't know 
if it's somebody who drinks Captain Morgan's or um, you're manning your own ship. Whatever ship you wanted, whatever ship you were on was shit. You have your own ship and you're manning it all on your own. You're doing it all on your own, whatever this is. And you're killing it. Like, I don't know. That's what I want to say with that. But um, what's weird is last time I saw my father, which wasn't that long ago, um, there was fortune, like fortunes from fortune cookies on his placemat and stuff. I said sunflowers were significant. I've already explained this. And there were sunflowers on that mat with a pile of fortunes. And I picked one up. I only read one. I wanted to read the rest, but I didn't. And it said something like, I can't remember word for word, but it was something along the lines of receiving wisdom from... I don't know, receiving wisdom from an, someone, an old, an older person or something, someone old. And that's what this reminds me of. Good advice from a wise person, wise counsel. And not everyone that's older than you is wise, just saying. Um, but they are more experienced depending on, you know, how they live their life. But there's someone here that, that you... I don't know how to say this because it feels like there's someone here that you might expect that you're supposed to get wisdom from them, but they're actually learning from you and you could be younger than them because you're an old soul. doesn't matter what your physical age is. But anyways, the significance with the owl for me and the fact that what this says and that fortune at my dad's house is pretty much the same. Um, is his father passed away um i think he was i can't remember if he turned 40 or if, if he was 39 he had diabetes and stuff my dad was like 12 years old or something but anyways um he loved owls and owls have always been a sign for me they always make me think of him at least in my per like personally and i know they make uh, my father think of his father too and it's a sign for him as well and we discussed that sign because we each <laughs> we each saw an owl um, at different times for different reasons and um, that was that was grandpa basically so pay attention to things like that because spirit will use what you know um, to show you so if there's something that you always okay you think of someone on the other side that you love and miss and want to talk to and you can't hear them in your head um, you can feel them in your heart though. So, but anyways, you think of that specific person and, um, every time you do what symbol pops in your head, like what reminds you of them? Like, Oh, every time I look at a feather, I think of this person. Every time I, I see a rose, I think of this person. Spirit knows that about you and that's what they'll show you when they're talking to you. It could be a picture. It could be, you know, a literal whatever. It could fly right in front of your fucking face. It could land in your lap. Someone could say it. That's spirit's way of talking to most people. Someone thought you were trying to trick them, especially if you do anything with the metaphysical. And I strongly feel someone does. Just saying they thought you were... I don't know, either doing your research, gathering information, or utilizing information you already had on, on someone so that, I don't know, because it almost feels like cold reading, you know, when someone can read body language and, and all that crap, and uh, I don't know how it works, but isn't it where you can kind of tell if, if you're headed in the right direction with what you're saying to someone? Um, I think that's what a cold read is. So like if I say something and then you, you whatever your body language is, whatever your response is, even if it's nonverbal, um, there's certain people that will pick up on that and be like, okay, I'm getting closer. So it has something to do with this. Uh, a lot of times when I do readings, I don't know who the fuck it is. <laughs> like I really don't. I'm not face to face with you. I do those, but um, there could be some of you out there where I don't know if you just knew things like if you just listened to yourself you knew things about this person or something or a situation they didn't understand how you knew what you knew and 
They thought you were fucking with them. So they could have messed with you because of that. Mm, coffin. Well, this is how you knew. Whatever you knew about said person, situation, whatever. It's because whoever's no longer with us was letting you know. Was letting you know. It's also something to do with someone's passing. Could be a mature man. Message of concern. There's someone who's concerned about someone passing away. They're concerned about them dying. Um, I don't know. Whoever... Whoever's, like, intuition is strong within this message, and you could be picking up on these concerns and stuff, um, I don't feel like you're the one who's concerned. I feel like there's someone else. There's someone you're connected to who's concerned about either themselves dying young or someone they know, someone around them that they love and care about. They're worried about them for some reason. I also just heard I'm worried about how my father died. Okay, so whoever that's for, there's someone here who your father's already passed. Um, and there were some concerns surrounding his passing. Because he probably... <sighs> Pass too soon. <clears throat> yeah, somebody has concerns surrounding the death of their, their father. Wow, I'm getting dizzy. Um, ooh, I'm feeling jittery all of a sudden. Is this how this person passed or something? Oh, man. Um, cause I feel like, I feel like my breath just caught in my throat so I can breathe. Um, that's how this person would have felt like, kind of like, oh, like I got to catch my breath, like gasping. I'm gasping. That's what that is. Gasping, dizzy, and jittery. Like, I don't know. I'm getting kind of tingly too. Uh. Like, almost like pins and needles over your mouth, face, hands, you know. I don't know, because how do I want to explain this? Because it feels like a sense of numbness, pins and needles, but not full on, like if your foot's asleep and stuff, not full on like that, but just lightly. Almost like um, your circulations turn into shit, basically, because uh, someone could have, someone could have became hypothermic. Because I am feeling kind of cold. I don't know why. But it's just weird. Because sometimes you can become hypothermic and appear to be hot. I don't know. Somebody's internal body temperature. Um, I am freezing right now. Someone became hypothermic. But I don't... They weren't outside though. This person was not in the Arctic or you know, like not dressed for the weather. They didn't freeze outside. I'm just really cold all of a sudden. My hands, and it's almost like I feel like I can feel my breath. Like I could see it, but you know what I mean? Like when you're so cold, it's just like warm. I'm so cold. I'm so fucking cold. I feel like that's where the jitteriness is coming in. Like I can't get warm. Um... I'm trying not to be scared. Like, I'm trying not to... I'm trying to keep myself calm. Like, like it'll pass or something. I'm trying to keep myself calm. Someone could have done that because I, I feel like I'm laying down. I don't know if I'm in a bed or on a couch or in a chair or where the hell I am. But someone was inside feeling this cold, like, fight to stay warm cold. Like, I am freezing. And I feel like I'm, like, wrapped up in a blanket, just kind of like, 
like it'll pass. I just gotta get warm. I just have to get warm. It'll pass. I just have to get warm. There is an illness tied to this for this man. Um, I don't know if he battled with an illness like diabetes or, uh, because that's what's making me think of, because you get jittery when your blood sugar is like low and off and all that crap. You can feel faint. I don't know if you can get cold and hot though. I don't really know all the symptoms and stuff, but that's how this person was feeling. I heard, and then everything went dark. Whoa. I just got kind of like, and then everything went dark. I felt like I just, like, I don't know, my vision just went blurry. So that person could have passed out. I just heard in my head they did. Whoever that was before they passed, they were, they were unconscious. I don't know if they were put in a coma or not, or if they just fell into one. Um, I felt like everything was going to be all right because I've, I've, this has happened before. So with that man, I feel like he didn't seek medical attention quick enough or something, or he didn't take it seriously, even though he was scared because he'd felt that way before and nothing happened. You know what I mean? Like, like, oh, I just got to ride it out. Or if it's diabetes, I just get to take sugar, insulin, whatever the hell they need. And, and then I'll be okay. And, um, this person waited too long. Yeah. I heard, and that's what happened in a nutshell. And that's what happened in a nutshell to whoever that is. Okay. Toil and labor reverse. Because this, feel, I just heard with this, I didn't work too hard. Like I didn't work myself into the ground. This person could have been a hard worker. Um, but maybe somebody thought that they were overworked or something. Like, oh, if this person relaxed more or did this or, did, or whatever, you know, like took a break. Um, if they didn't have so much on their plate, this wouldn't have happened. It would have happened anyways. Just at a different time. It's almost like if it didn't happen right when it did, it would have. Anyways. That's what that feels like. Work. Yeah, this energy is making me feel lightheaded as a mofo. I'm just saying. I also just heard there's advice for someone out there, uh, regardless of if that father person is um, someone you know or your dad or whatever. Um, there's a message. Somebody saying, don't work too hard. Don't overwork yourself. You do enough already. So there's someone in this energy who might be an overachiever or you just are a go-getter. You know what I mean? Like, I, I got all this shit to do and I'm doing it all right now kind of thing. Um, Spirit saying, whoa. <laughs> you know, like, it's okay to relax. It's okay to have a day where you do nothing. Um... It's okay to say no as well. Um, if people want you to do something, don't feel guilty about that is what I'm hearing. We have the castle. That's making me think of like a fairy tale and stuff.
don't work too hard. The right people will recognize your efforts, whether it's career project or just in your life. Because there's ungrateful mofos around all the time. That's what that feels like. Like it's working really hard to attain your dreams, your goals, because that's what's making me think of. So because your dreams and goals and stuff like your dreams are like a fantasy. But you're putting there's someone here who is putting the effort in like you're you're chasing after your dreams, you're trying to make things happen. And some of you could be working overtime doing that, like, don't kill yourself in the process of trying to build your dreams. Um, the right people will recognize your hard work. They'll recognize whatever you're working on and the people around you, friends, family, and otherwise, they will recognize your efforts if they're meant to be around you as well. Um, and for those of you that get taken for a ride, taken advantage of, or you help someone and then they, they turn on you or leave your life, let them, you know, um, they just showed you who they are. And you said, okay, <laughs> basically. Um, if anyone thought that whatever you were doing was for attention, that's not what you're working for. You're not working towards recognition. You're not working for attention. You're, whatever you're doing is because you love it. Um, you feel called to do it. It's just who you are, you know, something like that. Um, don't stop. Don't stop. Whatever that is to you, just don't stop. Okay. I just heard the grass isn't green around the other side. It's green right in front of you because that's where you're watering things. Because the grass is green where you water it. So it's basically telling me don't give up on a situation, um, a good thing. Don't give up on a good thing, whether it's a project for yourself, a relationship, whatever it is. Don't give up on what's right in front of you because that's greener than anything on the other side of the fence. Unraveling. Truth exposed, falling apart. Reflection, evaluate, re, uh, reflect on actions and thoughts. You've already done that. It's not time for you to reflect. I 